All right, so remember the Durham probe? They're still at work. And this guy has been indicted. I've never seen him either, but his name is Michael Sussman. Uh, was a lawyer whose firm represented Hillary Clinton's campaign. And Mr. Sussman here is now accused of lying to the FBI. Michael Sussman. I was hoping for more, but uh, hey, this probe I hear is not over. Let's bring in Congressman Devin Nunes, Republican of California, ranking member on the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman, welcome back. What do you think of Thanks, this uh, all this time and Michael Sussman? It, it's, a, it's a pretty serious indictment. I actually have it right here in my hand and I've been reading through it. And uh, you got to remember, this is one of the top lawyers for the Clinton campaign. Clearly, he was taking direction from the Clinton campaign. They hid under these lawyers. This is what they like to do with privilege. That's why they were having lawyers go and do the dirty work. And look, I think what we got to look out for now is Clintons have a long history of their lawyers and agents disappearing. So uh, I think you, you and your viewers know that history. <laughs> so yes, indeed. Now, let's, uh, for those who haven't been following this as closely, Sussman, as a lawyer for the campaign, was allegedly doing what? He was involved potentially in digging up dirt on uh, on Donald Trump, or uh, what did he do? What was he lying well, about? You know, we, he came before our committee. He was one of the targets of our investigation, and actually, in the indictment, they used some of our investigation uh, in the in the actual indictment. So. What he did is he actually, we weren't sure because he never admitted it to us, but he looks like he was actually helping to develop the fake narrative that was launched right before the election. This was the Alpha Bank issue, if you may remember, that somewhere in Trump Tower they were communicating with Russians, and this was the, the bombshell that they were trying to get produced by the fake news media just about 10 days out. Uh, from the campaign. So they developed this narrative. They produced the narrative. It was totally phony. They knew they were phony. And it looks like Durham got to the bottom of it uh, because he has quite a, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of evidence uh, in this indictment. There's a lot of evidence in here. I think it's, uh, it's a slam dunk indictment from our uh, perspective. We have a portion of it, uh, the indictment you're holding. Let's put it up on the screen. Um, he was making statements to the FBI. The statement was intentionally false and misleading because in assembling and conveying these allegations, Sussman acted on behalf of specific clients, namely a U.S. technology industry executive at a U.S. internet company and the Hillary Clinton presidential campaign. It said earlier right. that he portrayed himself, the, the FBI understood that he was just a good citizen passing along information. <laughs> That's how he presented himself. All right, but I will tell you, um, for those in the business, you've heard of this guy, you've met him before. You, what about Strzok? What about McCabe? You know, what about uh, these much bigger figures? Um, heck, uh, uh, what's his name? John Brennan from the CIA. Those are the big fish. Are they still yeah. in jeopardy? Well, we don't know that. You know, all we know were the public statements that were made by the Department of Justice last year, and we were told at the time that they were actually looking at the FBI specifically. Now, this would be something new. This is a new development. I think a lot of people at that time were kind of like, well, yeah, we know the FBI was corrupt, and we know these guys were, were, did some wrongdoing, but who's really behind this? And I think that's what this indictment shows. It shows that the Clinton indictment, at least in one portion of it, uh, we now have the evidence that, uh, you know, we, we had the circumstantial evidence. We now have emails and communications, and clearly Durham's done interviews in this. So uh, I would hope that uh, this is only the first of several other indictments. I think we still want to see the government officials held accountable. Uh, but look, this is, this is right at the Clinton campaign. And at the end of the day, Greg, remember, it's the Clinton campaign who concocted this nonsense. In fact, many of those same people that were involved in, you know, what you could call it the Russia Gate, Russia hoax, or the P tape hoax, they were they are now in the Biden White House. So uh, you know, look, I think Durham is circling the wagons here. We'll see what happens uh, with this lawyer. I mean, I'd, I'd be surprised if he, if he doesn't plea, uh, make a plea agreement. Maybe he's going to talk. Maybe he won't. But I think this is a step in the right direction is the bottom line. Let's make some suppositions here. Uh, he's lying. Uh, let's accept for a moment that he's probably lying. If he had told the truth to the FBI, um, would he have been admitting to a crime or was he just trying to minimize political damage? Well, look, it gets to the larger question, uh, and that is, 
can you bring, you know, look, there was a conspiracy here. You've heard me talk about this for many, many years. The Clinton campaign conspired with really bad agents and bad actors within the FBI and other, other locations. So this guy, you got lying to the FBI. We know that pe people conspired to do this. Conspiracy yeah. is a major charge and it can be very, very broad. Uh, so, you know, that's what I would like to see is, you know, who you know, was this the only guy that did it? Is he is he going to be the fall guy for the Clinton campaign? We've seen that in history. Remember, we've seen people in history be the fall guy yeah. for the for the Clintons. Congressman, uh, but I yes, have sir. to wrap up real quick. Are you frustrated, mm -hmm. though, or even angry that Durham didn't move quicker? Or is this how long this stuff takes? No, I, I, I'm actually not. I think I've, you've asked me this question before. I'm one of the only few people that actually have faith in this investigation. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm a half a glass full guy, but I think this is a good development. I just want to make sure we, we see a handful of other indictments. All right, Congressman Devin Nunez, I appreciate it so much. Republican of California, ranking member of thank the you. House Intelligence Committee and a true patriot, sir. We thank you. Thank you, Greg. Be right back.